Hi everyone, this is Michael. Well, as you've seen on the, the title, that I put some fenders on my Raptor XDX. I made some custom fenders for it. Well, I, I made them for another fender I ordered, so let me show you. Let me show you what I use. Let me get the camera. Put this off here. All right. So this is what I made it out of right here. It's aluminum. Let me cut them right around here. Well, it's okay. I got them covered up right now. This is what I made. This I made. I, I cut it off here. Cut this part off. The end part. And this I took 15 inches off of it on both sides. That's what I made it out of. I first thought I was gonna make it. Example. I got that's a turnaround backwards. Make it like this way, sticks up there, but I didn't like it. No, it didn't cut it me. So I made them. I have, and I, I don't know. Part of me really likes it, part of me don't. I don't know. I can't buy the line up, but they will serve the purpose. I made the fenders for it. Throwing grass over the deck. Throw a puddle of water, throw water, grass, mud, whatever. They throw right up on your deck. I get them mowing down that low spot down there. It stays kind of wet, and it throws grass all over it. So that's what I made it out of. I'm gonna show the other stuff over here I used, and, and also I'm off here that where you can go and. They do sell fenders. I didn't know it till I started making these and I Googled it and I didn't know you could buy fenders. So you can buy fenders with this if you want to. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to show you my fenders. Here we go. I'm going to throw it up here. I'm going to take a rag off them. <laughs> take it off. <laughs> take it off both of them. I'll lay it over here. I didn't mean to turn that that quick. There's all the stuff I used. I'll show you that more about that in a minute. So here we go. That's how it looks when, when it's going backwards. Fender right there. I painted them glossy black. I couldn't make my mind what color I wanted to paint them. I was gonna go with flat black or satin black. So I'm gonna it, that's high gloss black. Go ahead, this other side. You may like them, you might not. I had a custom make those in the flex forks, so I had to make them for that. Here's the one on this side. They're not exactly perfect, no match, but I cut them, I, I used a cutting disc to cut them out with, and I did the best I could. I like them, but th th this ain't what I had in mind. <laughs> So I had to change the way I was going to put them on. It wasn't working. I thought about ordering some smaller fenders. Tried them, but I thought they'd be too narrow. Those, these are 8 inches wide. That's how wide it is, 8 inches. And, and that, let me show you the bar I used. Well, this is one like it. See here. That's kind of bar. It's aluminum bar. But what I use, I got it upside down. I use the, uh, see if I can get it on here. It's a one eighth inch spit. I ain't get over here. I ain't get, I ain't get, get the, let's see, there it is. Get an eight, eight, one eighth inch thick, two inches wide, full foot. So I just cut that in half. Two foot. That's what it took. Both sides, two foot. Wide, it's two inches wide bar. And I replaced these are all the original washers I right hear. I got I got some sitting over here on this so it won't blow away. So this is the washer I went to, the bigger ones. So to grip that uh bracket better. And I put this carbon fiber cream around the fender, just dress it up and do away the sharp edge, just to make it look better. And this is the paint I used. It's high gloss. And I thought about using this. I couldn't make my mind up. So this is another one I started to use. I don't know. I couldn't make my mind up. So I used I So I could give a high gloss a cry. So I did painted my uh, 
uh, scrubbers, high gloss too, so it'll match my fenders. And so you might say, well, it ain't got no uh, gloss on it for it. Let me show you something. The wheels, they're gloss. Your rims are gloss. Well, hello there, Mr. Mitten. You get back when you meet him? Your H2, H2O meeting? Your uh, H2O anonymous meeting? Well, I don't know y'all heard about that last time, but Mitten's got a drinking problem. And he's got to have water everywhere. There's his bowl out there. It's full of water. It don't look like it, but it is. How did it go? Did you tell everybody about your drinking problem? I hope you did. You better get better now. Don't be drinking. Now, you know how that water does. It'll, it'll throw your eyeball if you drink too much of it. So I'll just let you know there, Mr. Mitten. Take care of yourself, Mr. Mitten. So get back to my, what I was talking about. Here it is. This right here. I don't know if you like it or not. I get a little better picture of it here. And it's got plenty of room to turn there. And it flex. It'd be it'd be fine. I I cut this hole here over shape like an egg shape, so I can slide it in back and forwards. I can adjust it, make adjustment on it. As we went with a bigger washer. Thing not aluminum is the bolts. There, let me show you the bolts I put off. I tell you about that. These are the bolts I use. Some some people carry carriage bolts, uh, bumper bolts. Let me show you what I've got in this. I gave uh, seventy, about almost seventy-two dollars in the fender. This fender right here, I ordered it. This cost me. I didn't use it all. Twenty-eight something. I got it AutoZone. No, uh, Vance Auto. Sorry about that. Got it Vance Auto. Of course, I got the paint at Walmart about. Uh, almost six dollars. It's to say six dollars a can, and I use these cutting discs to cut it out with. But I did mention. Well, what I got in these, what it cost me to make these about one hundred forty-five dollars. That's what I've got in these. Two or three days, not all day work. It, it took me a while to make these, and I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> That's what was a lot of work and dangerous. I cut myself too. See if I can show it here. Up there. I did it with a cutting disc. It's my fault. Nobody else's. I was wearing gloves. Them gloves won't take you through that uh, cutting disc. So you need a special glove to do that. That's my fault. I look at that's all it did. It's my fault. And uh, see what else I can show you. I got this Ace Hardware, but this I got a two inch wide. It cost me that together. Here it is. I got an Ace Hardware that that two inch wide uh, aluminum flat aluminum was, and the boats cost me thirty seven oh nine. Here are the boats, and of course I ain't counting the disc and everything else I use, the paint. It's around about one hundred forty five dollars just for the material, not counting my hard work. Now, I showed you, I was going to show you here, I got this one, well, I got this fender from, I got it from uh, BoatsIsland.com, BoatsLand, BoatsLand.com, I get it right in a minute. So here, if y'all want to check something out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in on this code here, MT360Fender.com, now you can put that all together, put a bot dot com. And this is the part number ZT8 7 LCWL. That's for a XD, XDX 60 inch. That's front flenders for a zero turn, $24.99. But that, it'd be tax on that too. I think the shipping was free. So you, you if you want to Google that and check them out, you can. They got different, I mean, they got to fit a lot of bowls. But that's the one that that's a part number that would fit the XD and XD XD XDX 60 inch. I don't I think it'll fit the board 54 just fine. I don't see why it wouldn't. So that's what I've been working on. If you like them, tell me so. If you don't, tell me so. I mean, 
Get away, ghost. You might hurt my feelings, but I, I, I get over it. <laughs> so, I just want to show you what I've been working on. I haven't used them yet. I hate to, but I hate to get them dirty. <laughs> but I, that'll help keep that grass and, and stuff off the off the deck. That's what I put them on there for. So I hope you like them. Where did Mitten go? I don't know where he's. Don't tell what that boy went up. Don't tell what he's up to. So that's what I've been working on. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Michael. I'll see you next time.